welcome to the second lecture of solidworks industrial design concept to prototype in this lecture we will cover all the remaining sketch tools that were not covered in the previous lecture let's start with the circle to draw a circle click on the circle here choose the plane click on the graphics area and then click on another point then see on the left side on the parameter box you will see the radius of the circle you can change it according to your requirements for example if I want to be it 10 millimeter then write 10 the circle will be now of 10 millimeter here is another choice parametric circle this is basically a three point circle click on the graphics area and you can choose wherever you want to draw it click again and then finally click on the graphics area and similarly you can change its radius from the para parameter box see now I will explain you the different relations between two circles click on this circle press shift then click on the other circle then see on the left side on the properties table you will see different relation like cordial tangent concentric For example, if you want them to be tangent, then click on tangent. See, now the both circles are tangent to each other. If you want them to be at the same center, then click on concentric. See, now the both circles have same center. So this was this is all about circle. Now let's go on to the rectangle. That is also a very useful tool in the SolidWorks let's talk about uh, rectangle there are different types of rectangles firstly discuss corner rectangle that is our basic triangle you can change the dimension by clicking on the rectangle see on the left side property table here are the relations different you can do it parallel now click on the line of the rectangle you can change its dimension from here angle from here similarly from the rest of three sides now the second type is center rectangle click on the graphics area the rectangle will be start from the center okay similarly you can change its sides dimension by clicking on the sides of the rectangle here the length and uh, here the angle now the third type that is that is three point corner rectangle click one then click and then final click that is the third click see you can draw a rectangle like this from the three point rectangle now the fourth type is three point center rectangle that it is that will be the exactly same like center rectangle and parallelogram you know that this will create a parallelogram okay like this so last two last two and three options are al alike very similarly so you can choose any one of them so these three were the useful and uh, basic sketch tools of the SOLIDWORKS the rest of the tools will be used when we 
draw different drawings in the coming lectures so that was enough for the sketch tab now in the coming lecture we will discuss about the features tab